day 87. So I'm just lying here on my napping couch. It also could be a reading couch too because there's like a light. Where, where's the light? There's a light. There's a light. But it is my napping couch. And so I'm just sitting chilling. Uh, today I believe we have the new moon. It's toy. Oh my god. Sleepy, sleepy. New moon in Taurus. Um, and it's an eclipse. So it might be feeling the energies of it. All. Um, and eclipse season. Uh, starting basically now. And alongside today, Pluto went into retrograde until October. And so what does that mean with Pluto being in retrograde? Pluto is a planet of death and rebirth. Um, and so many of us have our Pluto in our birth chart in Scorpio, which is Scorpio. The sign is all about death, rebirth, um, sex, and all that that fun stuff, the dark side of things. And so the Pluto being in retrograde, uh, line in line with eclipse season, uh, that is basically showcasing how this is the point of like where we are going to shift into um, a different timeline for ourselves, for each one of us. So there is going to be a lot of things coming up where we are being called and invited to like learn the lessons to grow and to level up to that next version of us. And so you're going to see a lot of maybe some old patterns coming up. And take a notice at those patterns, see what they are saying, see what is being shown to you. Uh, even if they're old thoughts and old beliefs uh, coming up as well. So same thing, whether the patterns are external or if there's something more internally happening with your mind, are you thinking the same limiting beliefs over and over? And is that something you're constantly telling yourself of like things you can have or uh, things that are not possible for you? What is it that is coming up? Um, and just, yeah, make a note of that. This is going to be a very powerful season uh, between now and October with eclipse season and um, the Pluto retrograde. Now, this doesn't mean I'm not saying it's going to be horrible or anything like that. No, it's what you make it out to be. Right. So if you're going to go with the mindset of like, oh, yeah, it's going to be like a shitty season because of all this like stuff happening in like the planets and yada yada then yeah it will be a shitty season for you but if you're going in with the mindset of this is like growth and evolution and in a mindset of like ooh, get curious about it and oh my god what what will happen and what amazing things will come into my life because i'll be growing and shifting into a new timeline and i'll be getting something somewhere even better like more amazing than where I'm at in this very moment because the universe wants the best for me. The universe did not come here to say like, oh, you're going to have like a miserable life, blah, blah, blah. Like nobody dictated that. And so, so yeah, so it is all about mindset and it is all about how you go into this season. And so I'm excited about this season. I think it's going to be really interesting. Um, to see what is going to come out of it and what, what new things are going to happen, right? We don't know. Everything is unknown. And tap into that unknown. Tap into that like mystery and the element of surprise. Because if we knew how everything was going to unroll and if we were predicted about everything and anything, then where's the fun? Because that's boring. Honestly, like, Certain things, yeah, you can predict and like they're great when they, they happen and you're like, whoo, it's exactly what I wanted, how I wanted it. But if it's that's like that all the time, every single time. Boring. So anyways, that is day 87. Those are my thoughts of the day. If you like this video, please like, share, comment. I appreciate it all. And I will speak to you tomorrow. Bye.